everyone. My name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. So subscription box number two finally came in the mail and it is my ice cream beauty box. I ordered this at the end of, can't talk. I ordered this at the end of December. So this is the December box. As you can see, your girl's a naked mole rat. I came fresh faced because I know for a fact that there is makeup in here. So I wanna make sure that I try it. And if there aren't any blushes, then I'm gonna try that Fancy Beauty. I think it was called Daiquiri something. I'm gonna try that on today too. I be feeling bad for like some of the girlies that they order their boxes and they come all jacked up. Sometimes my boxes come jacked up, like other boxes, like Amazon boxes. I ordered these really cute ramekins and y'all, they did not package them at all. They were just sitting on top of each other with a lot of open space and a little piece of cardboard in between each ramekin. When I opened it, I was like, I know something's broken. Like there's no way it was broken. I had to submit a form so that I can get it replaced. I'm pretty sure they're gonna package it the same way. This is what the box comes looking like, ooh, there's some packing peanuts. I've seen people like put their mouth on these. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not about to put my mouth on these packing peanuts, even if they dissolve. I don't need to know how they taste. I don't know where they've been. Just cause they dissolve doesn't mean that they're clean. And it comes with a cute little card. It says December, happy holidays. Ooh, and it tells you what's in there and how much it costs. So we'll look at that at the end. See, if that little Amazon had a few of these in there, I'm pretty sure my ramekins would not have broken. Wow, it's just so much little packing peanuts. Just pulling out little packing peanuts. Let me show you what it's looking like after I get all the little packing peanuts out of it. Everything came pretty safe looking. It doesn't look like anything is broken. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to try some, some stuff on and see if it's brown girl friendly. The first thing I'm pulling out is a ZC Living Colorfully Liquid Eyeliner. This is what it looks like, the outer packaging. I lived in China for almost three years. So whenever I would go to like the little, you know, their version of Sephora, I mean, they have Sephora, but like their other other versions that are like in China, Chinese stores. Their makeup always looks so cute, but it's designed for Chinese women when they have like the really pale skin because that's like the aesthetic there. So on brown girls, it don't show up. It, it's no, but it's just pretty to have. Hopefully this is a color that is reasonable because I'm not about to be walking around looking like no neon sign. Is that white? I've never worn white eyeliner before. It's not something that I would particularly go for, but who knows? I might be, you know, feeling myself one day and do like a graphic liner look. It's good to have these things just in case, cause you never know when you need a white dot somewhere or you just want to feel funky and do something innovative. Ooh, wow, that actually feels really good. It's like really soft, okay. Okay, I'm gonna play around with this. Depending on the other makeup that's in here, I might I might play around with this today. We'll see, we'll see. Next, I have two other little lip pencils by Lip Perfection, Be Bella. Okay, that's cute, because my daughter, her name is Isabella, and we always call her Bella. I think that is so cute. I like these colors. Hopefully they actually show up good on my skin, because some of these lip liners, if it's too light, it, it don't be lining. Like, what is it outlining? I don't know, because I can't see the line. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that actually looks cute. So this is in the color Coral. Still got some more of that plastic on there. I need to get that off, because if I don't, it's gonna bother me. Maybe that's not meant to come off. This color actually looks really cute. I don't know how it's gonna look on my lips. Maybe it's cute, maybe it's not, we'll see. This is in the color Unforgettable. It looks a little light. I don't know how well that's gonna show up. It shows up, it's not It's not terrible. I typically go for like a darker lip liner. It just goes better with my skin tone. I usually go for a darker lip liner, but who knows, maybe, maybe it line the lips, okay? Maybe it keep the lips in line. Something else from ZC, cute little packaging. It's got little bow and arrow Cupid. Very, very pretty. Look at that, see? so pretty see yourself see yourself that is so cute it has like a cute little like little cupid on it that's so pretty that's how it's looking on my finger very frosty hopefully i don't look ashy 
I love that. <laughs> Next, I have the Ofra Gone MIA Mini Lipstick Set. Not lipstick set. I don't know why I added the word stick to it. Ain't nowhere on here that says stick. I just added that to it. What do I read stick? Ooh, these are so cute. Look at these, these are so cute. Right off the bat, these colors are the ones I'm living for. Now this one is a little bit wild. I don't know how much use I'll get out of this one. Who knows? Maybe with like the right liner, it'll look really cute. But let's go ahead and do a few swatches. Ooh, that went on really, really smooth. This is in Sanibel. I think that's how you say it. I like this one. This next one is Miami Fever. Ooh, I like that one too. Hopefully it doesn't make like your lips feel real sticky. This next one is Adventurer. I don't know why I read Adventurer. This definitely is not spelt like Adventurer. Adventurer. These feel really good, I'm not gonna lie. This darker color is really pretty. Wow, okay, so far we hitting. Ain't no misses, we all hit. And then this last one, Winwood? I don't know what Winwood means, but let's go ahead and see. This one's really bright. Ooh, that is playful. I actually really like these. Now, hopefully they feel good like on my actual lips and there's no blush. That Fenty, we, we got a date. I believe with the Ice Cream Beauty, it's $25 in every single box. You get a palette. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that. It's got little, little flyaways, but other than that, oh, look at that. That is so cute. It looks like a little book. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what this is looking like. Very, very pretty. Ooh, and I think this other one is like a pressed glitter. Actually, I think I think three of these are pressed glitters. Now, me and pressed glitters have a very assorted past. I struggle with them. <laughs> I have yet to use glitter and make it look good. I could work with a shimmer, but actual glitters? Mm. Let's try some of these colors out. Let's do some swatches. I'll probably dip into white first. Well, the white color, which is marshmallow. This one's probably not gonna show up like at all. Yep. I just look ashy. Now let's go into amber. No, not amber, ember. Why did I read amber? Ember, let's see. Um, It's not as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be, but I feel like you could probably build it. Now let's go into earth. Now this one I think is gonna be really pigmented. It's a little powdery, probably buildable. Kindling. Let's see how this one is. Oh, that one's actually showing up pretty good. Oro. These feel super soft. Look at that. That is so pretty. Yeah, I like that. That is really pretty. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera. Um, let's go into cocoa. Not as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be. Let's see fire, which I just learned that red pigments, you're not supposed to put them by your eye, but they're in every single eyeshadow palette. <laughs> but apparently you're not supposed to put them by your eye. Yeah, it's a little bit powdery and not as pigmented as I thought. Let's try element. That's not really showing up that well. Last like actual shadow and not a glitter. Or horizonte? Horizonte? Is that a word? They're not really showing up as dark and pigmented as I would like them to. Yeah, I don't I don't know about these. Let me try some of these glitters. Maybe the palette will redeem itself by having some good glitter. Luna looks really pretty. Oh, it's so soft. Wait, is this not glitter? Ooh, I don't think that's actually glitter. Look at that, that is gorgeous. I thought that was glitter. Now that reminds me of unicorns. That is so pretty. <laughs> That is so cute. Okay, we getting some points back. Now let's try this apple, a, a pie. Why did I say apple? This does, this does not say apple. Why did I say apple? A pie biru, biru, epi biru. I don't know what that says. I've never seen those letters put together in that way. And it's not glitter. I thought these were glitter. This palette is, is making a comeback. Ooh. Now that is pigmented. Look at that. Like. 
last little glitter. Now, if this one is just as beautiful as these, then I'm sold. The last one is amber. Okay, so I know I read amber somewhere on here. That is beautiful. Hopefully it swatches good. I'm rooting for you. We're all rooting for you. Hmm. That looks pretty. These right here saved the palette. Call them, save them. Uh, never mind. That that was. No, I can't even finish that joke. That is everything that I got in my ice cream box. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little base on my face. We're gonna check back in and play with some of this makeup. All right, y'all, so I'm about to try this Fenty Daiquiri Dip. That is so pretty. So I've never used cream blush before, so I'm gonna go in with my finger and then dap it on because I don't want to like get any of the other colors that's in my brush in here. So I think I'm just gonna like tap that on right there. Well, hopefully this isn't too much. I don't want to look like a clown. When you blend it out, it looks so pretty. See now, this blush is blushing. And this is a bit frosty, but I mean, it could still be cute. We're gonna go ahead and try this one out. Oh, so pretty. highlighted now let's get into this palette though okay we're gonna play with this color right this luna so i need to put something on there that's gonna blend well with that so i'm gonna try ember because these weren't showing up the best on my skin i'm gonna put down some concealer just to make it work as best as possible by no means am i a makeup artist i don't know what i'm doing i just watched a bunch of jackie Ina videos and called it a day so if things don't look right it might not be the makeup it might just be me now that looks a lot better than it did on my hand. You see that? We're getting a lot of color, actually. My blending game is trash. That last video, I saw all kinds of bumps and divots in my little blend on my eyeshadow. I was just like cringing the entire time I was editing. That highlight and that fancy blush looks so freaking pretty. I might have to get Justin to take me out tonight. If I look real cute, we gonna have to go out again. I'm really living for that highlight with that blush. That looks so pretty. Maybe it's not translating on camera, but in person, it looks so freaking gorgeous. Now I'm gonna go in with this shimmer, duochrome shimmer, Luna. Oh, it feels so soft. Like y'all, it feels like butter. Oh, now that is, that is pretty. I don't usually wear makeup like this, but I might have to start because this is just gorgeous. Oh my God. Bruh, take my money. Take it. Just, just take, take the money. And it's just so soft and buttery. Like, part of me just wants to sit here and just rub my fingers in this palette all day. I'm not gonna lie, I might use this other color as like an inner corner just to, you know, add a little bit more to it. I'm gonna take this duochrome, this bluey duochrome. Y'all, I don't even have eyeliner on and it looks pretty. I'm gonna do a little eyeliner and then we're gonna get into those lip products. I almost forgot. How do I look? I'm gonna go ahead and try this lip pencil. It is coral. That is how the lip pencil is looking. 
now to put this on my crusty lips. And this is in the color Sanibel. You can definitely see how crusty my lips are using this. I don't know if I like that color. I might go over it with a different color. Let's try Adventura. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. Let's go ahead and check out the price list and see if we're gonna gag. The Hearth Palette by Chantico Beauty is $40. I'ma be honest with you. I don't know if I would pay $40 for this palette. I'm glad to have it through the box. <laughs> $40 seems a bit much, especially since some of these colors are a little bit powdery. You don't get the color payoff that you would hope. Next, the Angel Highlighter by ZC Cosmetics and the British Museum. This one is $26. It's cute. I mean, the packaging, look at that. Like you can see the little thing on there. That is so cute. Uh, you might get me for $26. <laughs> you might just get me for $26 just cause the packaging is so nice. The lip set is $20. I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you. I would not pay $20 for these minis. Maybe you could get me for like $12, maybe on a good day. You know, when I'm feeling fancy and feeling like a baller, shot caller, then maybe you could get me for, for $20, but not today. That day is not today. Next, the Cream White Liquid Liner by ZC is $24, bruh. I am not about to pay $24 for a liquid eyeliner. It showed up really good. It, it seems like it's pretty good quality, but I could get this for like $4 at Target. It's not anything special. Me personally, I'm not shelving out $24 for this. I am more than happy to get it in a box for 25. The last thing were these Lip Duos by Vella. These are $6. I'm wondering if you get both for $6 or if it's $6 each. That's actually good. The price you could take my money for three dollars okay three dollars you could get me for three dollars i probably wouldn't choose these colors this is a good box if you like this content you already know what to do like share and definitely subscribe and become a fey fey i will see y'all with the next one